Hi everyone, it's Miriam. I had such a good time doing the ocean pour in the last video that I kind of want to do it again. And I have a new idea for maybe increasing the lacing of the white crashing part of the wave. So I'm hoping it might get better in this pour. So I've already mixed my paints and prepared the ocean pour and the beach pour um, and the sand, the sand pour. If you wanna see all of that, watch the video before this one, video number seven, and you can see all of that in detail. But this one is just sort of a second pour with the same exact colors. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my water. Oh, it's so pretty again. Lots of really beautiful cells happening this time, different than the last time. I added more silicone this time to see what that would do, if that would increase the cell, the cells, and it did. I'm going to use the extra paint to wipe the sides. And the reason I do that is if the sides are wet, it encourages the paint to flow down the sides more. That's what I found to be the case. So I'm sort of prepping the sides, if you will, for the paint to run down nicely on the side. Okay, so I'm doing that for now. And then I'm going to do a line of white now to separate the blue from the beach. Okay, putting that now. And then the beach will close in on that, hopefully. It's kind of the plan on that. I remember the beach, I don't want it to be as organized in any way as the water is. So, doing that. And I'm gonna swirl it around. I'm going to torch the beach to see if cells come up at all. I'm wondering if the metallic paint is inhibiting the cells because I added silicone and it just won't sell up. So, not sure what that's about, but I am not going to let myself get too concerned about it. And I'm doing the same wetting of the sides here so that when I tilt the canvas, the paint will run easily along the sides. Because I love when the cells and the pattern, etc., run down, runs down the side. Sides, I should say. Alrighty, now for the tilt. I need to fill in those empty areas of blue. It's running off the sides very nicely. All right. To wipe down my hands a little bit. 
All right, I've turned the canvas around because I'm going to need to blow white from this direction that way. So it's going to be easier for me this way. But before I do that, I'm curious about whether or not the blue will sell up more. So I'm just going to sort of try that a little bit. Yeah, that is not having trouble like the like the sand just doesn't want to sell up. There's got to be something about this type of paint. It's a paint I haven't used before. Not sure what that's about. But the blue is not having that trouble. Okay. I only wanted a couple of cells here because I have a few there. And a few just to give it a different look from the one we did before. All right. So now the lacing. I'm going to try something different. Yes, that's the answer. Got it. Okay. The difference in this blowing compared to the previous video and why I'm getting more lacing is the paint the white was in between the two paints, that's one thing, and I'm also blowing a lot harder. Alrighty, and I am going to stop there. So about 15 minutes later, this is what it looks like. The paint continued to move a little bit. It settled down, I think. And I'm pretty sure this is exactly how it will dry, the way that we see it now. And I will take you down for a closer look. I hope you like it. Okay, here is a close-up of the white area. It's a lot smaller than in the last painting. And I like this look too. It's very feathery and lacy. And then the water itself has way more cells than the last painting. The banding is very different completely different look than the last one, which is part of the fun of this process. We never know what we're going to get. We get to pick our colors, and then after that, the painting sort of decides on its own what it's going to be. I like when the color runs down the sides. Makes it pretty from lots of different angles. Alrighty. I hope you enjoyed this pour. If you did, please share it with your friends. Like. And definitely subscribe. There will be so very much more. Thank you so much for watching. Go out and be creative. Make pretty things. Bye now.